So to remote desktop to your Raspberry Pi from your laptop or desktop, uh, you need to do a few things on the Raspberry Pi. So you need to secure shell to the Raspberry Pi first of all. You need to go to the root user and install a piece of software called um, the, uh, X11 VNC. Now it's already installed on mine, so it'll say it's already installed. So the next thing you need to do is make sure that when your Raspberry Pi starts up, it starts up logged into a desktop, because if there's no desktop there, then there's nothing to remote desktop to. So if you go to the configuration program, and you need to go to enable boot desktop, and you need to select the option uh, desktop login as user Pi. Now I've already done that, so I won't do that again. And then the third thing you need to do is uh, edit a program in the boot called, in the boot directory called config.txt. This is just so you can set up the resolution you want to come up when you run a remote desktop in. So I'll set up 1024 by 700. Um, so that when I remote desktop, that's the size of the desktop on my display. The reason I've made it that size is so that on the display I don't get scroll bars, I get the full screen of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, at this point you would just, what you type is reboot, so that it takes those configuration of options into account. Now I've already set this up so I don't need to reboot. Now you come out of the root user, and as your standard Pi user, which is the user that's logged into the desktop, you have to type x11 vnc. And that starts up the server. And on my desktop now, if I open up another terminal window, and on my local machine, I need to install a piece of software as well. So you go to the root user, and then you have to install its uh, XVNC viewer, XVNC4 viewer. Now again, I've already installed this so that it was just to tell me it's already there. Come out of the root user, and it's just type VNC viewer, and then the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And there it is, I'm straight into the Raspberry Pi desktop. So I can do anything there that I would do on the Raspberry Pi desktop. But I don't need a keyboard, mouse, or monitor on my Raspberry Pi desktop. Now when you, when you come out of here, now there's, you can either shut down, that will actually shut down the Raspberry Pi, or if you just close the window, it'll just leave the Raspberry Pi running. So back in my original tab, I've still got Raspberry Pi. But it's, you have to start up the server each time you want to, to run. Now the other, another option is, which I recommend using, is um, when you start the server, do minus uh, use pw, and then we use a password. Now I've already typed in the password, so it remembered what it was, but it'll ask you to type in the password you want to use. And then, when you come to actually open up the remote desktop, it'll say, what's the password? So you type in the password. Oops. Type in the password, and that, then you get into the desktop. So that's a bit more secure. If you're on your home network, maybe it doesn't matter so much, but it's probably a good idea just to use, say, use password as well.